Do you want to be right or do you want to be in the love relationship you have right now? You decide. If you're letting politics come in between you, you are doing yourself a disservice if other things align in your relationship and you love this man. Beliefs are very difficult to change. So you have to decide, am I going to do what is needed? Decide do and then be determined that this whatever it is politics or otherwise won't break you up that's what we're talking about today because i'm going to give you some tips on how you do this in a way that doesn't make you feel like you are giving over copping out just letting this go no it is a bit more nuanced than that you can deal with it and dealing with it is the determining factor of whether or not you will go the distance with your man, that is almost always the case for us as women. We have to be the one making a bit more of the concessions, especially in the belief department, because the male brain is more black and white than the female brain. Yes, this is a fact because the corpus callosum has our hemispheres talking to each other. That's why we can do many things at once and a man must be focused. He is born to be a hunter, so he is very black and white and very quiet quick to act. So we are the ones left holding it together. Most typically you can do this dependent upon your belief system, whether or not you really wish to go forward and make a decision and see and to test yourself to do this related to something that might be challenging or even not so challenging. You can use this in so many situations, not just in politics and I'm going to get into that. Stay tuned till the end. I will give you those tips and you can check a document I have below for you to use. It can be at your fingertips. It's a great tool and I want to just give that to you. So stay tuned. But who am I to talk about this? I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach for women, licensed social worker and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a man decides to make you the one. I help you find a Mr. Right, get an expert, back or grow an existing relationship with a man you truly desire to inspire his continued interest so that you get the complete commitment you totally deserve. So let's get into this tool. What is it and why you do it? First, you must take stock of these three D's and that is you are going to decide that I want to attempt this. I want to see if I can do this just to test myself. Even if at the end of the day, I decide I can't deal with his differing belief system on whatever it is or our differing opinions. But make no mistake, if you are in a relationship with any human being, you are going to have differing beliefs. You're going to be at a scale of what you believe. You're going to have more or less commitment to that belief system. So you decide. But I would say let's give it the college try before you throw in the towel. Second is you you must do what is necessary once you decide. And these tips are about the do, and then you have to stay determined that you are going to do them and see it through, and then you can always bail out because you feel that this is a deal breaker. One thing before I get into the tips is I want you to know that where politics are concerned, men are skewing much more to the right than to the left. This makes sense when you consider that men are more black and white and not as centrist. And in this political climate where men are feeling like they are losing control, they are tending to skew more towards the right. So if that fits for you, fantastic. If it doesn't, let's not let that alone break you up, pending where he is on the scale. Let's look at it under a lens of, well, as people grow, they change. When they are more in the know, they can change 
to one degree or another, and that includes you. So he can, and through his knowledge, maybe you can a little bit, and you can meet in the middle. That's what we want for you to grow your relationship to complete commitment, or if you are married or engaged or otherwise partnered, do you really want to let this break you up? Again, you decide. So what are these tips to do what is necessary to keep your relationship on track and growing? I call it my words of wonder. Words of wonder convey agreement. They convey that you are not bored. They convey respect. They convey safety to the man, that he can be himself, but mostly they convey no judgment. When you use words of wonder, you are allowing your man to talk. This could be about anything that you either are interested in or not, that you agree with or not. You simply use these words of wonder in a calm way and by doing the exercise for yourself, you stay above whatever the issue is, not get into the fray and so things don't get set aflame for the two of you and an argument ensues. You can use words of wonder anytime you feel like you might get into an argument. They really are helpful and I list them in my Words of Wonder document that I give to you for free, nothing else. You just put in your email and you get this. Click on the link below. There's nothing to buy. I want you to have it because it's a great tool for you to use at any time. Words of Wonder are things like, oh, I see, huh, interesting, my goodness. I hadn't heard that. I hadn't thought of that. That's an interesting way to look at it. Well, that's clear. Intriguing. Gracious. You see how simple these words are. Wow. Uh Uh-huh. I see. I hear you. Go on. I'm listening. I hadn't thought of it that way. Thought provoking. Hmm. Very simple and they do not connote any kind of judgment either way about anything. You're allowing for the man to talk. Again, you can use this even when you are bored with what he might be talking about. Uh Uh-huh. Yes. Interesting. I hear that. Uh Uh-huh. Wow. My goodness. Fascinating. Intriguing. Seriously. No kidding. You are not conveying any kind of yes or no, good or bad. No judgment at all. It just conveys you are actively listening. So even when you don't agree, you can, with anyone, say things like interesting. In your mind, you might be thinking interesting that you could ever think such a ridiculous thought. You could be but you don't add the rest of it in. You just say, I see. You might be thinking, I think that you're an idiot. You want it to just be, I hear you. I get that. Now that's an interesting one because he might connote it as agreement, but all you are saying is, I get that you feel that way. You see, but you don't add the, you feel that way. You just say, I get that. I see that. Interesting. Wow. You could be thinking, wow, I can't even believe that you could ever have that belief system. You might. But if you show this unconditional way of relating, he may start to soften to some ideas you have that are different. Now, this is tricky. Allow for his safety in the discussions. Men try to convince people, not just women, but other men, that they are right. This makes them feel manly, masculine, in the know, and most of all, respected. There was an enormous study done of 20,000 men and women of all ages, and they were asked what they most desired from the opposite sex. Fascinating, but actually, when you think about it, it makes a whole lot of sense. Women, above all, wanted one thing more than any other from men and men in their life, and that was to be desired. Men wanted more than anything else to be respected. So you see how valuable this is in allowing for him to feel respected. You're not necessarily agreeing. He won't even know that if you do it well. 
So just practice. I have in my words of wonder only punctuation, meaning a question when it is appropriate for that word of wonder. For example, if you say to someone, seriously, what does that convey? That conveys, I think you are wrong. It might even convey worse than that. Like you're an idiot. Seriously? You can think that, but if you say it with different tone and different inflections, seriously, that connotes agreement. Someone makes a statement and you say, seriously, but you could be thinking anything about that. You have to look at the punctuation. Inflection is everything. If you say to someone's statement, interesting, well, what does that connote? Same thing. But when you say interesting, you're showing I'm open to that. I don't know if I agree, but interesting. So watch your tone. Tone with men is huge because they were raised by a woman, meaning mother, and when very young, everything that they intuited about their behavior being right, their actions being right, their thoughts, everything about being right was mother's tone. So we want to be soft and we want to allow for our tone to carry through. Wow. It's not like, wow. It's subtle, but for men, they are very attuned to tone. So take that into account. You use these words of wonder, especially with differences related to anything political, religious, deep convictions of someone. And this allows for his change to possibly unfold as well, because you are not being antagonistic, confrontational. You are showing respect. He feels safe to allow his feelings to come out. And with a woman, he needs to do that. Otherwise, he doesn't have many people in the world that he can do that with. He doesn't do that necessarily in the same way with friends, especially male friends. Now, it's changing a little bit, and for younger cohorts of men, they're a little bit better. And then, actually, at the end of life, we find that men in their 60s, 70s, and beyond, they get a little softer with it because the testosterone is waning. So, on the ends of the scale, they're a bit lighter and better about it, but in the middle, meaning, you know, 30 to 55, 60, you are dealing with a very focused mind, which tends to be more black and white than yours. So allow for your beautiful mind, which incorporates more things, can see the complexities and is more gray rather than black and white. And this is a beautiful thing that you can give to the man that you love. So check it out. Go to that link below, click on it. You'll have the words of wonder and you can get to the commitment you desire and deserve. And do me a big favor. If you like this video, please click on the like. That helps us a lot to grow the channel and get this kind of information out to more women so more women can have the relationships that they are so deserving of. And subscribe if you haven't. Hit that red alert bell and I will see you in the next video. I trust you got a lot of good information in this video and I want you to have more by subscribing and clicking that red alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want even more, there are ways to talk to me. You can talk to me for free on the podcast. You can have a consultation with me. There are several other ways that you can check out by going to coachpaulagrooms.com. I am available to you. Just go now to coachpaulagrooms.com for any question to get my book to find out about any of my coaching programs, my self-help courses, anything at all that you need. I am here for you and want to give you all that is possible because all is possible for you in your romantic life and you can get what you desire and deserve. I want you to know that. I am happy you are here learning, leveling up, and I will see you in the next video.